Hi everybody. I hope this is working. I'm looking for the little red dot that flashes and I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to give it a whirl. It's been a long time since I have been doing faces. I don't know how long exactly, but several months. And I'm going to start them again. I have misplaced where my other little uh, notebook that I made is. I'm not sure where it is right now, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna start on a new little calendar pad that my friend Mary Beth Mawson gave me, and um, I'm gonna start with a uh, an inner gel metal tip 0.7 millimeters ball liquid gel ink Pintel pen and if any of that makes any difference whatsoever I got it at Fry's food stores and they came two in a pack and they really are nice the marks that they make are really nice so I'm just going to start with a a nice little oval and then I go pretty much in the middle and I make two ovals with approximately the space of an oval, oval right in between. And then right down the middle of that is a small tip to the nose and a little nostril and a little nostril. I'm using a pen because if I use my pencil after this long I will go right back and erase. So I don't want to use my pencil at this point. Although there it is. And because I just really can't stand the blank eyes I'm going to make some pupils and iris in the eyes and there's that one and there's that one so there we go for starters and then there's the part that comes down here below the nose this little I'll have to look it up to remember what it's called. And then we have the lips. My face is already just a little off. The middle of the lips. And the bottom lip. Then we have the chin. So if I was uh, if I was to look at the centers of the eyes here I would want another little circle on the center of each eye for the little the tear duct that goes right at the that point of the eye and then I'm just gonna make some little shading lines going down and right now I'm going to find out just about how good this pen is because the shading lines make a lot of difference. The second eyelid on the bottom and the second eyelid on the top start to give the eyes some uh, a different kind of look. That was too big. <laughs> Sorry. And um, And there we go. The eyebrow starts right about at that line and goes um, straight up. And the ears, someone told me I was doing it wrong before I was putting the ears between the eyes and the nose, but I suppose that they are between the nose and the mouth when I feel my ears and then I could just put them between the nose and the mouth. So there we go on that one. 
And then the neck, if we could get that in, it would be right at the edge of the eye. That's going to make a really chubby neck. So I'm just going to pull it in a little bit. Since this is my absolute first attempt, we have a hollow of a neck that always worries me and some collarbones. I don't know why I have to have that hollow of the neck in there. Then we have some cheekbones that go in. And I'm not going to worry about them right now. I'm just going to go up here and make a shadow right above the eye. And another one right above this eye. And I'm going to fill in the eyebrow just a little. So this is a funny looking little person. Uh, to me it looks like a boy already. I'm not sure why. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. I did not get anything out in order to fill in color, but I'm just going to, um, I think I'm just going to put in some shadow right here on the neck. under the chin. A little shadow. And I'm really wanting to put in some hair. So I think I'll do eyebrows instead right now because I'm just really not not wanting to go there right now. There is an edge, well, sticking outy thing right there by the corner of the eye, we call it. And uh, so there we are. Under the nose, there's a little shadow. And there's a little kind of edge of the cheekbone coming down. My pen is going to mark mark too dark for me right now. That's really bad looking. I am going to switch to the pencil now. And I'm going to put some hair on because I, I can remove it if I don't like it. Funny looking person here. This is more like a mustache. And I generally like the hair at shoulder length and the bangs coming across. There's, there's a look in the eyes that and on the lips that go, whoa. And I don't, I don't blame this person for going, whoa. Because if I looked that way, I would be going, whoa, as well. So, um, let's see what else we can do. Other damage we can do. Little cheekbones are also circular. Um, as is the tip of the nose and the uh, eye socket that goes up and around like that. And these are things that I would remove later, uh, right before I was putting in the, the color, if I was indeed going to use color, which I'm not right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, definitely looks now like... Um, there are goggles, kind of a kind of a goggles effect. Maybe something similar to my glasses. So I'll just put my glasses right here, <laughs> and this is me, I guess, with the glasses on and coming around. Glasses and coming around. I think that's very funny.
and it's okay with me. I have a little thingy here to my pencil. Okay, so what I was, where I was, was right in between the need for using a pen so I wouldn't erase a bunch and the need for using a pencil so that I would be not having permanent lines yet because that sort of comes with color. I'm just going to use that. That helps a little, but there's nothing that's going to take away that mustache. That, I was meaning for it to have a shadow kind of coming out like right here for a little smile line. A little smile line. Very subtle, but that is not subtle. So I'm just going to make a, a little... The clicking you here is 